So yeah, this video is uh, an hour and a half long. Get ready. All right, hello, yes, hello. It is uh, the afternoon right now. I'm not recording in the morning, which is crazy. I just listened to a song. It is At Least We Tried by Giveon. Um, didn't listen to Hype Pop. For some reason, I'm still hype. For, for some reason, I'm hyper right now. I don't know why. I have chocolate, pil ch chocolate milk next to me. Um, I think I'm hyper because I really want to get this shit done. Like, I, I think I know what I want to do, but at the same time, I don't know what I want to do in this game. Um, but I just, I just, I feel like I'm so close to finishing. So let's resume. So that's important right there for sure. Because they just launched the the thingy, and then it gets launched. That pro gets launched pretty far over there. I can probably see it, Loki. That's it right there, isn't it? Let's try and go up into my ship. Yeah, it's literally right there. If it's right there, let's try and go to it. You see, I can go to it. Let's try and go to it. Why not? <laughs> oh. Oh, I guess I just went too far. I couldn't read. Oh, wait. Hello. Wait, what was that? Okay. Well, okay. Whatever. Um. Okay. So I can't leave the um. Can't leave the solar system. I tried to follow the thing, but I just couldn't for some reason. Um. I want to go. Since I wasted time here already. I want to go to... I have an idea. Is the quantum moon anywhere? Let's go to Hollow's Lantern. I have an idea if I see the quantum moon. I have an idea on what I can do. Okay, I don't see the quantum moon anywhere. Let's go to Hollow's Lantern real quick. I haven't been to this planet yet. I just want to see what this is all about here. Can I go inside one of these guys? Oh shit, I fucking can. Okay, let's go inside this one. Shit, okay. Damn. I'm for real in this guy. Okay, that's good enough. Okay. Increased solar activity detected. Increased volcanic activity detected. Location is now inhospitable. Location is now inhospitable. Evacuation recommended. See, I knew it. I knew... I knew Brittle Hollow was uh, habitable at one point. Timber heard. Okay. Roots. Friends in the Timber Hearth mines. The last type of ore you sent us survives the longest in direct heat. Can you send us more of the same for additional testing? We're attempting to improve its durability, and our forge has already burned through everything you sent. Uh, we'll deliver more ore to Hollow Lanterns immediately. You must be fired up about crafting the Ashtrain Project projective shell. Uh, yes, the idea of an encasement that's supernova proof, however. Whoa, 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 whoa! Yes, the idea of an encasement that's supernova proof. However, briefly, however briefly has kindled my curiosity. My gratitude. I imagine we'll also have an updated estimate soon on how much ore is needed to seal off the Ashton project. Will it be more than we initially thought? It will be significantly more. The smallest crack or opening in the protective shell would destroy everything. Okay. Do this action here. Been here already. Okay, um... I don't really need that anymore, so let's... Is there anything on this side? No. Okay. Let's leave. Hollow's Lantern. Maybe there's something else I can go on a different volcano area? Maybe this one right here? Ruptured Core. Volcanic Testing Site. Okay. Ruptured Core. I found the two missing members of the Nomai shuttle uh, crew near a large ripper stone that looks like it exploded from the inside. Uh, the Nomai traced the strange energy readings to a spherical stone casing filled with some form of exotic matter. Uh, they determined the exotic matter was both lethal and under extreme pressure. If the stone were to rupture, the exotic matter within would rapidly expand, completely blanketing the solar system almost instantaneously. 
One of the Nomai stayed behind to examine the alien matter while the other rushed back to the surface to warn the rest of the Nomai. Okay, so the ruptured core, this is the reason why the supernova happens every so often. That's obvious. Um, yeah. I still haven't found the, that. This. Or samples of the were sent to this volcano. Derby were testing. The Nomai were trying to craft a briefly supernova uh, proof shell to escape to encase the Ashton project. Even the smallest crack or opening the potential shell would destroy everything. Um, Black Hole Forge. Black Hole Forge District is the highest district in the Hanging City. The Nomai craft warp cores to the Black Hole Forge for them to Ash Twin. English Fish Fossil. But I'm sure with the only being able to scout. The scout. No matter he's playing, there's a way to enter the sand. The is hard to see on this English. It's fed a light first. Um. Oh. I understand that. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna fly towards Hall's Lantern real quick. And then we're gonna die because I have an idea. <gasps> we're going straight to Emperor Twin and we're going to the Ashton Project. I've gotten so good at fucking piloting, like, ever since my mistakes the past. Okay, so, let's read this first real quick, just to, just to know that I'm in the right place. Okay, no. So, I will need to remain close for time in the reading experience based on the level of the station. Not the hazard is not being used as if you're here to help, or even should be sure to use this on the past. This lab. We will not be running the same one to one. We can prove the one from the lab. We're currently being by, by the path. Okay. Yep. Yep, so I have to go through here. Okay, hustle, 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 hustle. I know where to go. It's down here, not over there. Right there. No way, no way, no way. Okay. No way, dude! Hello, please! Get down! Okay, jump. Jump up. Go up. Right there, it's right there. Please, dude! I swear to God! I swear to God! Oh my God! This is so annoying. This is so annoying. This is actually so annoying. I don't even know where it is, man. Where is it? Where'd it go? Oh my God! I'm restarting this. Holy shit! Oh my God! That was annoying. That was actually annoying. That was actually annoying. I I fucking hate that planet so much. I hate that planet so fucking much. Uh, drink chocolate milk. Calm down. No time for marshmallows. No time for marshmallows. No time for marshmallows. Yup, right here. Do not fuck with me. Do not fuck with me. Do not. I'm actually gonna end it all. I'm gonna end it all here. Let's go! Okay, finally. Jesus Christ. I was actually gonna end it all, genuinely, off camera. Go over here. Hurry up. Come on, come on. I don't fucking care about the sand. Up here. Down here. Keep to the right. Go through here. Up over here. Through here. We're going through here. We go down here. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Wait, hold up. Wait, it's actually big mode. Okay, go down here. You're dead. Okay. Uh, you're dead as well. Yes. Okay. Hurry, I don't want anything. Okay, so... Is this it right here? I broke it, I broke it, I broke it on accident. Can I, can I read it? No, can I? Okay, I know this is it. Okay, make sure I don't fucking die here. Um, I'm probably gonna get a jump scare here. Okay, this is annoying. <sighs> You're joking. You're joking. Hello? What is happening? Can I not go there right now? Oh 
Dude! Do I need to wait for this to- I swear to god. Oh, this game makes me so mad. It matter than fucking Valorant. I- s Ugh, Fuck this sand, I swear to god. Fuck this sand. This is so annoying. This is so annoying. Just hurry up because I just want to get through. I just want to get through. I just want to get through. I just want- I'm getting so impatient. 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 Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my god, dude, I swear to god. Okay, go, 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 go. Jesus Christ, go, please go. I'm so low on health. Wait, what? Okay, maybe it's over here. I swear to god, I swear to god. I swear to god. This game's actually trying to make me go crazy. This game's actually trying to make me go crazy. This game is trying to make me go crazy. <laughs> ooh -wee, ooh -wee. Up here? Can I get oxygen, please? 60 seconds of oxygen! I don't know where to go. Is this it? I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm dead. G genuinely, I think I'm dead. I think I'm actually. I'm not dead. This is not. This is not the end. 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 Not the end. Not the end. Not the end. <laughs> okay. 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 What is all this? Remove. Okay, I don't know what this is, but this is something. Um, scroll. Uh, records show no my arriving at the warp received for Umbrella Hollow. Very s okay. So on, this is Pi, the Pi, the girl that died. Um, records show no my arriving at the warp receiver on Brittle Hollow. Very sorry to be before departing for the White Hole Station. Uh, Raymond and I are advising uh, an experienced test that this is a real phenomenon, a simple machine error. Uh, okay. In theory, what we want to try to re reproduce is a negative amount of time lasting between something into the black hole and exiting the White Hole at its destination. Initial things first, our uh, experiment setup will first pair a small black hole core with a small white hole core to make the setup on the white hole station. Hypothesis, it is possible for an object to exist to exit a white hole before entering the corresponding... Another scroll. That's the sun. That's Ash Twin and Ember Twin. Okay, I actually don't know what any of that stuff means. Um, maybe the Southern Observatory is asking if creating a 22 minute interval is possible. That is, to have something arrive 22 minutes before it is actually sent through the warp. Oh. Okay, that's kind of weird. Um, we've learned the negative interval of time, time between departure and arrival can be increased by adding more energy to the warp core. Problematically, uh, the energy required to extend the interval increases at ex an exponential rate. Hypothesis. Creating a 22 minute long interval is possible, but we are currently unable to generate the necessary energy. Raimi and I believe it would be necessary to invent a new method of producing energy, a thrilling but enormous undertaking. We would also require advanced warp technology able to handle such energy. We would also likely need an enormous space to fit these proposed new energy and warp technologies together. The only location large enough would be Ash Twin. Okay, um... I see, okay. The energy is currently unavailable, you say? You're a gas, right? Uh, my pun was intended, in, unintended, Remy. So I believe it's you who's aeroform. 
fucking nerds, I swear to god. Um, remove the squirrel. Pop that down. Put this guy in here instead. The Ashton pro uh, Pie. The Ashton Project would be one of our biggest undertakings, metaphorically and physically. To build it, we needed, we needed a way to travel quickly between Ash Twin and each location that holds crucial project materials. What if we use warp towers like the one we have on the White Hole Station to connect Ash Twin directly to each critical location? To connect Ash Twin to each. Okay. Of oh, note, each tower in Ash Twin will warp to a different planet. My gratitude to those who know my imprecise language. Yes, the sun is. The sun is not a planet. I believe this has been sufficiently clarified. Kindly stop reminding me. We can design each tower to visually re reflect its warp destination. The giant's deep tower, for instance, could resemble a cyclone, and we could model the timber earth tower after a geyser. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, okay, Root and I can begin work on this immediately in the Black Hole Forge. This will keep us busy. Oh, this is... No, I don't need that right now. Um... Okay. Take this out over here, put it down. Over here, put this in. An update. Our experiment here reproduced the anomaly and arrival into departure signs, but Pi is unconvinced it's more than an equipment error. I hope to strengthen the effect to render it invisible to the unaided eyes. To that end, we've decided to try adding more energy. I imagine the sunless city's energy supply should prove sufficient. Of note, Raimi, Yar requests that we let him know before we reroute energy to the experiment. I'd hate to leave him in the dark. All available energy has rerouted from the city to our experiment. Uh, so experiment. Raimi and I are about to run a new test. Hypothesis confirmed. Hypothesis confirmed. I saw it. I saw it. Oh, I saw it. Pi saw it. Hypothesis confirmed. This is beyond extraordinary. This changes everything. What a beautiful day for the introduction of abstract theory and practical application. Okay. Um. Wait. What's over here? Okay, nothing's really over here. I want to try this shit out. So they said something about white hole with the black hole. Oh, oh, that's what they're that's what they're saying. What if I do a, a white hole with a white hole? Okay, nothing. Um, what if I do a white hole with this? Nothing. Okay. What if I do? What if I do black hole. Black hole, maybe. Maybe black hole and warp core. Okay, so it's literally just only black hole and warp core. That's crazy. That's so cool, though. Okay. Um, what are these other things for? Like, what's this for? Like, what are these warp cores for? That's it? That's all that's here? That's crazy. I thought there was gonna be more in here, but... What's over here? Okay, so this is what this is telling me is I need to go to Ash Twin now. So this is Ember Twin and Ash Twin. Because there's two towers. This is the sun. This might be Brutal Hollow. This is Giant's Deep. This is Timber Hearth. Let's go to the sun one. I want to see what happens if I go to the sun one. Okay, let's look at this first, because this actually clears some stuff that I, that I am, like, having trouble with. Um, 
Let's see if I can use the things on there. I should go there. It's all gonna. I was. I'm assuming all this is gonna point towards the Astrum project. Okay, so let's read this real quick. <clears throat> the Nomai successfully reproduced the temporal anomaly first observed at the White Hole Station warp. Objects appear to arrive before they depart. Uh, the Nomai discovered they could increase the negative time interval between arrival and departure by adding energy to the warp cores. Uh, the Nomai wanted to know if a 22 minute negative time interval was possible. They concluded it would require new technology to produce the necessary energy as well as an advanced warp core to handle those energies. Ash Twin was proposed as a location for the project. Okay. Ash Twin. Uh, designs for each of the tower, for each, uh, for each of the towers on Ash Twin's crater. Uh, each tower warps to a different planet, although many of them are quick to note that the sun is not actually a planet. <laughs> Each tower is designed to visually reflect its warp destination. The towers allow the Nomai to quickly travel between Ashton and other locations crucial to the Ashton project. Okay, what does that mean, crucial to the Ashton project? Okay, so this... What is that supposed to be? Uh, oh, that's a giant... I don't know. That's the sun. This... Um, oh, no, no, that's Giant Steep, actually. That's the sun. Ooh, I kind of want to go to the sun. I want to see what happens if I go to the sun. Okay. A fucking course. Oh, my God. That's it. What's over here, then? Oh, dead Nomai. Okay. This is Amber Twin and Ash Twin, right? Right? Uh, what is... Oh, that was just a particle. Okay. <laughs> Let's see where this takes me. This is gonna take me just to Ember Twin, I swear to god, if it does. That is the most messed up thing I've ever experienced in my entire life. That was so fucked up. What the fuck was that? This is Giants Deep? Maybe? I don't know. I don't remember. This doesn't, look, this doesn't look like any planet to me, not gonna lie. This is the one where I got shot up to the very top and I don't know what happened. Like, I don't know what the point of this is. Like, this doesn't warp me anywhere. Unless it actually does and I have to wait here or something. Which I can wait here if I want to. Should I wait here? <laughs> Whoa, wait, what is that? Wait, hold on. There's a whole orbit going all around. Wait, what is that? What is that? Okay, well, I don't think this place brings me anywhere, so I should just jump out. Yeah, I don't know what this this tower's for. Let's check the other towers. That's probably Brittle Hollow, maybe. Oh, this is Giant's Deep. This is Giant's Deep. Oh, this is for sure a giant seat. Oh, I gotta hurry. I gotta hurry, 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 I gotta hurry. Alright, go up. Oh, this is up. Okay, I gotta go up here then. Please don't take me off my feet. Please don't take me off my feet. I'm safe. Okay. Two more dead Nomai. Oh. <laughs> I'm lucky. Well. Whatever. Okay, I wonder where this is gonna- Where in, Gi in Giant Steve this is gonna teleport me. Okay. 
Welcome to Giant Sea, friends. I'm excited to meet you. Meet the statue. I'm excited for you to meet the statues. If I'm not in my dwelling, I'm likely in my workshop below inside the island. I don't think I've been to this island. Oh no, I have. I have, and I just got. Oh my God, culture! Okay. Okay. So. Whoa. I don't think I've ever been there. Wait, hold on. No. Is it gonna be another supernova? Oh my god! He jumped, man! I'm mad. I'm so angry. I'm so angry. I'm so angry because every time I'm about to fucking find something out, every time I'm gonna connect the dots, fucking the music starts playing. I swear to god, dude. Um. Maybe up there? Of course. Maybe it's here somewhere? Can I go through under here? Oh, I can! That's so annoying. That's so annoying, dude. Dude, Supernova, just mind your own fucking business. Genuinely. Can I read something real quick? Hurry, hurry, hurry. Hurry, 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 hurry. Hurry, please, hurry, please, hurry, please, hurry, please. Let's go. If we saw the mass inside the Ashton uh, Project, Foxy looked beautiful. I was reading. Statue Island, where is this shit, bro? What the fuck? What the hell? Okay, that was weird. Here we go. And then I found it by going underneath. So, right here. There we go. Here we go. Nice, nice, nice. Cool. Okay, sick, sick. It's actually hype. Okay. What is this? Nothing. What is this? Oh. Okay. Cool. Mm, let's go this way, I guess. Okay. Seeing statues here. Uh, I, would, I would assume I would see statues in Statue Garden. Okay. <clears throat> I still don't know what this is. Um, this is not where you teleport to see visions. I know that. Okay. I knew it. 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 See, see, guys. Okay. Wait, wait, okay. This confirms it. I actually. This confirms it. This is the visions I see every time I die. I'm assuming these are arrows pointing to whatever. So I'm assuming the Nomai. Oh, perfect. I know. I know the actual theory. I know the theory. I can. I can. I can confirm. I can confirm it. The Ashtrin Project is basically the Nomai make statues of themselves, and these statues are then used as like vessels for their immortality immortality to for other species to merge with these nomai to then like create a cycle of like um these nomai being immortal and living vicariously through people that that this is totally it this is totally it that's fucking cool let's take a picture of it for souvenir purposes okay what's this Blocks. Yaro, would you kindly uh, step back so Daz is closer to the statue? When pairing the statue, will choose whoever is in closest proximity. I fucking told you, bro. I. I'm actually so fucking handsome. 
I am actually so handsome. I am actually, actually so handsome. Okay, Flux. See how its eyes have opened? That tells us that she has paired with Daz. Now, no matter where he is in the star system, Daz statue will record his memories and send them to the Ash Twin Project. This is extraordinary, uh, extraordinary sculpting work, Flux. He has outdone himself, out outdone himself again, hasn't he? And now that we have our first successful pairing, we can test my memory storage prototype. Each statue will send a signal, a single Nomai's uh, memories to his or her own storage unit within Ash Twin. Each storage unit will be equipped with a mask, um, the, st the statue's counterpart, which will be able to send those stored menus back to the court. I am so fucking smart. I am so, so incredibly smart, guys. All right, what's this? Remy, I've installed the masks inside the Ash Twin Project blocks. Uh, they look beautiful, although I do feel as though I'm being observed. All the masks inside the Ashton Project. Oh, they look too beautiful. I do feel as though I'm being observed. Okay. Uh, it's, com it's comforting to know the stashes will not pair until the project succeeds. Otherwise, I imagine the experience would be hard to endure. Wait, what do you say? Okay. Okay. Ideally, they'll only need to activate once the uh, project succeeds as a safety measure. However, the stashes will also activate in the event of equipment failure. They will? Why is that? If anything goes wrong with the Ashton Project, the statues and their mask will make us aware of the situation and enable us to fix it. Otherwise, it would, be it would be possible for us to remain permanently unaware of the problem. I hadn't thought of that. What a profoundly horrific fate that would be. Ashton. Okay, so that's me, probably. That's... Let's say that's Gabbro, and this is someone else. I still don't know who this is. Hmm... Wait, did I read that? I don't think I did, did I? Come on, get up. Get up, get up. I just need to read this, please. Dude. There we go. Nice. Oh, wait. Did we get sent up in the air? I think we did, didn't we? Oh, I'm perfect. Oh, this is what this is for. Okay. Ah, I see, I see, I see. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And then... Nice! Ah, so that's what that's for. Okay, so what's this? I'm curious. Is sending a being's memory back in time the same as sending the being itself back in time? As an example, if we were to send my memories back in time, is that the same as sending me back in time? Not my physical body, but my essence? I imagine they're two different actions. Wouldn't both actions be effectively the same? Suppose that time was being rewritten. I believe this is different than receiving memories from what is effectively the future. But isn't the end result identical in either case? Hmm. Okay. Okay, wait, this is actually... Fucking epic. Okay, hold on. Let's get back up in here. Statue workshop. Nice, 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 nice. The master should do that and pair with a single user, record the memories, and send those memories to a storage unit within the Ashton Project. I'm. I. That's crazy how I figured that out. Each storage uh, unit inside the Ashton Project was equipped with a mask. Uh, the statue's kind of part, which could ha uh, which could then send those storage back, back to the Ashton Project. That was a design only actually once the Ashton Project succeeded or in the event that it failed. So that's a little bit, that's the part I'm confused. The statues were designed to only activate once their Ashton project succeeded or in the event that it failed. So I still don't know if the Ashton project succeeded or failed. I do know the statues are the result of the Ashton project, but I don't know if they failed or they they did it. So the chain was tied to Ashton was physically sealed off by a messy thick protective shell. The Nomai plant construct technology capable of producing a 22 minute negative time to grow on Ash Twin. Every memory recorded by Ash Twin is shredded to a corresponding storage within the Ash Twin. Ash Twin Towers. There's more to explore here. There's several large Nomai Towers from Ring Around Ash Twin's Equator. Why else anybody uses the model for these towers? They're built for the Ash Twin Project. Um, let's go back to there, the towers or whatever it's called. Let's go to Ashtrin. See, I love games like this where they treat their players as if they actually have a mind of their own. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why I love the Soul series so much. 
they they don't handhold you at all and that's why i hate games like ubisoft or stuff like that where there's just like fucking like five million things on the screen because they think their player base is just inebriated and they can't think for themselves i still gotta wait for it to hmm. okay if i can't go there right now or should i go that instead uh quantum moon my brother Hala observed a uh, find uh, no mind ever twin observed me that where no one was watching. I hope that the quantum moon might be a form of microscopic microscopic quantum mechanics. Knowledge. So the little counter house critter held useful knowledge from working. Then I noticed a strange rock shard that appeared to wander when no one was watching. Let me go to see from a cave at the bottom of the dry lake bed at Ember Twins North Pole. Dry lake bed at Ember Twins North Pole. Why does everything have to do with this fucking planet? I hate this planet. I hate Ember Twin so much. Yeah, let's actually go back. Who's that? Um, I want to go to Brittle Hollow. Is that Brittle Hollow? No, that's the White Hole. I have an idea with the Quantum Moon, actually. Good thing I'm actually here. I have an idea with this guy. I have an idea on what I could do. Uh. What am I doing? What the fuck is happening? Hello? Okay. Let's take a picture of it real quick and then. I feel like if I have a picture of it, it should be fine, right? Hello? Oh! What the hell? What was that? What? Oh my god, okay. Um, I can't. I don't have time for a marshmallow. I think, I think what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go to we're gonna go to Ember Twin first. We're gonna look for Coleus, the north side of Ember Twin, and then if we see the Quantum Moon, we're gonna do the exact same thing again. So I think that was actually the right way to do it, believe it or not. Also, there's that sun thing that I could possibly get to, but it's a little bit difficult. All right, north side, north, north, north. North side over there then. Is this south? Or maybe not actually. What if he's down here? There we go. What's over here? Why is it kind of scary? Hello? Okay, well, let's hurry up because this fucking planet sucks. Mm, this way, I guess? This way over here? This way over here? This way over here? This way over here? Through here? Okay, we go over there, I guess. Oh, shit. Wow, okay. And then right here. I feel like I'm doing a jumping puzzle. Alright, over there it is. Nice. Oh, 
Um, over here? I don't know where I'm going. Uh, can I have this fucking planet? Oh, oh, okay. There's quantum fucking plants here. It, okay, there's quantum shit going on here. Oh, uh, this is scary. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Okay. Oh my god. Fuck this fucking planet. This planet sucks. You, stay there. Stay there. You fuck. Is this Coleus? No, I don't know. Um. Oh, here we go. Oh, shit. Huh? Oh shit. Oh, it's a light. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Some of these guys are just appearing, bro! <laughs> these guys, I swear! Okay, by the way, came to look for Coleus. This is where uh, we were when he vanished. He's been missing for two days now. What happened before Coleus has appeared? Uh, we were examining different rocks. I recall Coley standing on the largest one, the wandering rock. I was taking notes, and then my lantern died. When I lit again, Coley and the rock were both gone. You're strange. Uh, wandering rock friend is here, though Coley isn't. Coley and I observed this unusual looking rock shard and several smaller rocks in at least two of the caverns. I'm, sh I'm sure this is relevant. I have an idea then. Okay. I have an idea. I have an idea. There we go. And then turn this shit off. Take this off. And then turn off my light. Look at look at the ship. That's crazy. Where am I at now? <laughs> Oh man, that was actually so cool. <laughs> Where am I at though? Oh, is this Coleus? Oh no. Coleus! How curious. This rock took me with it to a new location. I wonder why this happened. Curious but also alarming. This new cave appears to lack an entrance or exit. Also, the rock that brought me here disappeared while I wasn't watching. The wandering rock has returned. Never before have I been so delighted to see a sediment sedimentary specimen. I wonder if I, if I myself became quantum briefly when the rock carried me here. This seems the clearest explanation, hypothesis. If the rock can bring me here, it could also carry me out. My hypothesis was correct. I can travel on this rock as long as I'm not observing my surroundings, meaning I must be in complete darkness. I'm going to be my mentor here to see this. Metheray is here now too. We theorize when a conscious being is in contact with a quantum object and ceases to act as an observer. Um, Explaining the need for darkness, the being can become entangled with that quantum object and they move together. Uh, friends, Coleus has discovered a, a new quantum rule. He has also promised me he'll never vanish again, if he, even if he does learn something useful from it. Okay, cool. Whoa, that was weird as fuck. That was strange. I just, I just turned off my flashlight and it came back. That was strange. Okay. So... Oh, I'm in a different cage cave now. Okay, let's. Oh, is that a? Is that a? That's a board over there. Okay, that was rude. Okay, whatever. I don't care. Um, but uh, close to missing. He vanished from the. Oh. Um. Uh, I don't know how much I really do. Help us. Did you travel here, my sedimentary friend? Because your unique color and okay, this rock is very unfamiliar. Did you travel here, my sedimentary friend? Because your unique color and texture appears identical to a rock I met earlier. Wasn't this some? So wasn't wasn't the same rock fragment in the cave we found at the bottom of the dry, dry lake bed at the North Pole? We plan to re-examine the northern lake bed cave. Maybe our friendly rock will meet us there. Uh. An update. Melio and I went back to the lake by cave and observed this rock again. Sometimes it's there and sometimes it isn't. It isn't. That means this rock wanders like the quantum moon does. How curious. Okay, I'm gonna jump back on you. 
And then ping pong. Where am I? Oh, I'm in this place. Oh, what's this? Can you... There we go. Oh, I have 60 seconds of oxygen left. Um... Oh, shit. Wait, I have an idea. I can go over here. Okay, wait. I actually learned a lot there. Um, let's go over to the church to refill my oxygen real quick. What's up, brother? I haven't talked to him in a while. Maybe I should talk to him? Goodness, it's you. Hello, I have a question for you. Uh, I found something. Find your notes about the Outer Rock's main crater. Did you? I hope they were useful. The planet I mentioned may have been frozen solid or just partially made of ice, like a much colder giant sleep. I was to say, it used to be the fifth planet in our solar system. You'll notice, of course, that there's no such planet now, and its place is Dark Bramble, which, how to put this, uh, grew into the space the fifth planet used to occupy. That is, Dark Bramble quite literally appeared at the center of the fifth planet and began to destroy it from the inside out. Eventually, the pla planet shattered completely and its shrouds were flung across space. Some of these shrouds collided with the celestial bodies of our solar system, such as the Outer Rock, which I believe is now is how its biggest crater was formed. Um, let's go to my ship then. It's over there. Check this out real quick. Quantum Moon. Wait, I get I got something from the Quantum Moon. I was able to, yeah, I was able to land on the surface of the Quantum Moon. So, here we go. I can actually land on the Quantum Moon now. That was actually crazy. I don't know why I didn't think of, I didn't think of that before. Genuinely. Oh wait, that might be it right there. Maybe? I don't know. Well, hopefully it is. Actually, I don't know what the fuck I'm traveling to. Uh, <laughs> is this the quantum moon? Wait, what am I traveling to? What is that? What is that? What is this? I still can't see it, even though it says it's super close. What is that? What is that? Is that a satellite? Oh, it is. What is this? Why is this here? Wait, what? What the fuck is this? What is this? Why is this kind of like creeping me out? Okay, I have no idea what the fuck that is, but it's creeping me out. So I'm just gonna go back to my to my ship here. I don't know what the fuck that was. <laughs> that was really strange, and I didn't like that. All right. Anyways, where's the quantum moon? <laughs> what if I destroy it? What if I destroy it? What if I destroy it? Of course, my ship just fucking gets destroyed. Oh, there it is, right there. Found it. Fuck, I looked away. Right there. Okay, let's do it again. Let's try it again. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, shit. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Okay. 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 
Okay. Okay. Okay. Okay. Okay. I'm panicking. Uh, you're normal. You're dead. Um. Holy shit. I'm assuming if I fucking take, get rid of my... Oh, what the fuck? I'm assuming if I get rid of my camera, it's going to go away. So I'm just going to keep it out. I don't care if it's like really annoying. It's on my screen. Oh, what's in here? Wait, I'm actually making big discoveries right now. What is this? What is this? Oh, okay, so, um, Timber Hearth, Brittle Hollow, Ashbury and Ember Twin, uh, Giant's Deep, uh, what, a Dark Bramble, the Eye of the Universe, it's, um, oh, Quantum Moon, it's on, uh, Brittle Hollow right now. Oh, I, I got rid of it, on accident, uh, whatever. You have recalled the rule of quantum imaging. Recall the rule of quantum entanglement. Recall the rule of the sixth location. Okay, so you have recalled the rule of quantum imaging. You recall the rule of quantum entanglement, okay? Recall the rule of the sixth location. I don't know what the sixth location is, but I know what they're trying to say. Sixth location? Oh. 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 Wait, can I get out? Oh, 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 I have an idea. So, wait, so how do I, how do I get out of here? How do I get out of here? Six location? Okay, so, you recall the rule of quantum imaging. Recall the rule of quantum entanglement. Recall the rule of the sixth location. What's the rule of the sixth location? It's everywhere all at once. What's the rule of the sixth location? Fuck! No, it's about to explode! I don't know. Um. Come on, I know how to fucking do this. Come on. Come on now. I actually don't know. I. That's that's the under that's the underground city. Am I gonna hear the? Whoa! Did I die? Yes. <gasps> yep, I died. Okay. Um.
We're gonna keep playing. We're actually gonna keep playing. <laughs> we're gonna keep playing. We're gonna recall the recall the rule of the sixth location. What it said, right? Quantum moon, quantum shrine. There's more to explore here. <laughs> uh, you recall the okay. You recall the rule of uh quantum is described next to the tower. Recall the rule is described next to okay. Recall the rule of the sixth location. Recall the rule of the sixth location. I definitely have to go the Hanging City, which is in Brittle Hollow. Is that a gravity cannon? Whoa, wait, there's a gravity cannon here? Oh. I didn't know there was a gravity cannon here. Wait. That's actually interesting. Wait, what can I recall from here? Okay, what's this? Brittle Hollow projection stone? Brittle Hollow to Brittle Hollow? Oh, for sure, okay. Okay, let's get this down. Let's go down here. Oh, I can probably read that. I'm at the shuttle. I'm ready to make my approach trigger to the Quantum Moon. That's sad that you are almost ready, but there's still one more rule you need to learn. Come see me at the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Tower is on the opposite side of Brittle Hollow. If you follow the path, okay, this is perfect. Tower is on the opposite side of Brittle Hollow. If you follow the path west to the crossroads, you can reach the tower from there. Tower is on the opposite side of Brittle Hollow. If you follow the path west to the crossroads, you can reach the tower from there. Notions bells. God, I'm, I'm jittery. <laughs> I'm jumpy. <laughs> Crossroads? Southern Observatory. So this is a gravity cannon. Ooh, yeah, we'll call something. What's this? So is currently resting at the quantum moon. Ooh. We'll call? Castle we'll home. Okay. Here. Nice. Okay, let's see what's in here. Oh my, oh my god. Okay, what's this? So uh, I'm here. After watching it wander the skies for so long, I'm about to stand for the first time on the quantum moon. As expected, my shuttle has landed at the moon's south pole. I will make the remainder of my journey on foot. We don't know why the quantum moon always welcomes visitors at the south pole, just that this is true. As a child, I considered such unknown sinister. Now, though, I understand they bear no ill will. The universe is, and we are. I am ready. Ready for fucking what, bro? Ready for fucking what? Is this gonna go to the quantum moon? I don't think so, right? Yeah, that shit's going nowhere. Okay, call me back. Thank you. Okay. Oh shit. This shit falling. Uh, okay. Um, left of the crossroads. West, so. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> just go to the crossroads. <laughs> Left of the crossroads, right? So over here. Oh my god, those directions are wrong. Uh, maybe over here? Uh, these directions suck, dude. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know where I'm at. Oh, down here maybe? Oh, I hear him playing. Let's just get my oxygen. Oh, what is this? Weed? Herg, well, that was deeply unpleasant. I made it this far, though. I guess that's the part to focus on, and not how I'll eventually have to get back up that path. But wow, this place sure is something. Looks like the Hang City is north from here, and I, and east is Gravity Cannon. Is a Gravity Cannon? I definitely want to see that. Another thing, I'm adjusting Ocean from somewhere below, which is good, since I uh, used used up a lot of my supplies screaming down the trip from, down from the surface. As soon as I stop driving, I'm going to head farther down below so I can refill my tank. I need to go to. Tower of Quantum Knowledge, so... Hanging Cities? I don't need to go to Rebek, but his music is really bomb. Maybe it's down here? I think so, actually. Oh, I think I'm... Yeah, I think this is it. 
Okay. Oh, this is where I was. This is where I was. Okay, school district, Meltwater district, I Shrine district, Black Cold Ford district. Fuck is uh, uh, I Shrine district maybe? Three dots. Black Cold Forge controls? I don't need that. Um, this guy. I should probably request a powerful, highly advanced warp core. How should we obtain it? What's in here? Ooh. Come on, let me read, let me read, let me read. Uh, solution 2. We can craft a new advanced warp core inspired by the vessel's warp core. I would very much like to craft such a powerful core. More relevant, I believe the corner will create the basic design. Bending the vessel's warp core in its casing means losing valuable knowledge. This is true, however, it's knowledge we have little little hope of recovering. It would be best to relearn, I think. This is the safest path, uh, path of our clan. Is the safest path the best one? Our goal is worth the risk. Uh, is it though? We're, we're, we've tried for so long to find something that I and others now believe might be impossible to find. If the search for the eye is a futile one, we should choose the option with the least potential for harm. The greatest challenge here, I think, is we don't have the design for such a powerful core or any of the original crafters of the vessel's core. No, but Poki was apprenticed to Anona, who created the original design and our black hole forge adept at crafting simple ones. Uh, I believe I can be of use here. The vessel's warp core was created before my time, but Anona explained many of his designs to me. Here, is there another scroll in here? No, there's not. Okay, keep going. There is another scroll. I love how all the all the important stuff is in the planets that require you to hustle. I love that. Uh, we could retrieve the warp core from the vessel. The vessel's warp core is broken. At best, we call those present when the vessel crashed that it sustained this injury. There is no guarantee reward to the service. Perhaps we can still repair it. My grandmother told me there is little time to assess the nature or extent of the damage. Even if it is no longer, if even if it no longer functions, the old core could be a valuable blueprint. Provided we're able to transport it back here. This will require a re return to Dark Bramble. Plume, my father said many good know my parish there. Uh, my mentor, Coleus, and his old mentor once discovered and studied an anglerfish fossil in Ember Twin. Using that knowledge, we could avoid the anglerfish entirely. I remember that anglerfish fossil we used to play in when we were children. But what Mellory and I learned from that fossil would theoretically help us evade the anglerfish, but over our hypothesis was never tested on a live specimen. Okay. Uh, none of that knowledge is useful to me. I went to Dark Bramble already. I just haven't been to the vessel yet. So technically, actually, that could be helpful. Um, but what about here? I feel strange trying to recreate Nono's warp core without him. At times, I feel, it still feels strange to no longer be his very young apprentice and for the Black Overfish to be my care and not his. To have the chance to try his tooling, but I don't want to disappoint everyone. I think I can do this probably, but if, what if Simon has clouded my assessment of my own abilities? Still, all I can give is my best, and as Anona would say, should my best prove insufficient, then we would will find another way to achieve what's needed. I have clan root in the charge, in, in the forge, and I have my clan. I am not alone. Uh, was I wrong in volunteering to build it? I was born in this star system and never saw Anona's warp core with my own three eyes. I only know what he taught me. What if I've been off a larger person that I can consume? Hypothesis: This will feel. This will always feel strange, even though my time with him was short. I miss my old mentor and deeply. Okay, uh, that doesn't help. Okay, 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 maybe here? Yep. God, dude. Black Ops Forge controls? Oh. Oh, I see. I see, I see, I see. Okay, 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 okay. Go up. Fucking hell, Zyrus. Can't fucking do any speed run tech or anything. I have to fucking walk. That's insane. It's broken? Oh, that's fucked up. That is so fucked up. That is so fucked up. No way it's broken. No way it's broken. That's so fucked. Whatever, dude. Whatever. I need to go to the Tower of Quantum Knowledge or whatever it is. The Quantum Moon Shebang Doodle. Ghost Matter. Let's go up. Oh. Okay. We 
about my oxygen, with my fuel. Okay, and then top quantum knowledge. Mess it up. This is where I need to be. I just don't know how to get up there. Maybe. Maybe up here? Oh. Um. Looks like there's stairs from the surface. Or like right here. Can I walk along here and get inside? Okay, I'm an idiot. It did not lead inside. Let's get in here. Bloom, Felix, and I, uh, Bloom, Felix, and I have different a typical shard of rock is reason obviously to go of our behavior in quantum manner. The other, only other object we observed playing the quantum method is the wandering moon. I imagine the moon's behavior and this grove are related. In her note from earlier, Felix mentioned this strange type of rock isn't found elsewhere in Brutal Hollow. What if it isn't originally from this planet? The possibility this quantum shard is from the wandering quantum moon. Perhaps it is even a small piece of the moon itself. Of note, a unique signal is coming from the shard. Curiously, our friend, the wandering moon sounds the same. I've also heard the same signal that the shard produces calling out from giant steeps of earth. Uh, so those are all the shards like this one. Um... Drop scroll, move scroll, drop that one, put this one in. Why should we build a new vessel? Why wouldn't it be hard to get parts if we stopped building other things if we broke down other shots of the towers on the ocean parts? We have to build a small vessel for now, even though vessels are normally large, but we could make it bigger later once we reach planets with more resources. It would also help if we stopped building so many things to show for the eye of viewers. I asked and he says we use lots of roots in the extra. We could even have a warp core for jumping along just like vessels have. Pokey okay, tells me the plan plans to make a very advanced warp core for a different project. I'm sure we could connect to the travel with Pokey Smart. You know my clan towards you based on its own vessel. The vessel is the heart of every clan. As soon as you know for no might to remain in one place for so long, no more I wanders and have no permanent home. If you built a new vessel, okay, that, that kind of confirms that the no are not from here. If you built a new vessel, we could return to our virtuous way of life. Uh, imagine all the new places we could go. Our clan could be stuck here in this. So why were they stuck in, in this solar system is my question. You meet with other Nomai and learn from them like Koya says we used to. Okay, so then... Can I snuff these out? Okay, um... Yeah, how do I get in there? It's broken. It's literally broken. Is there a quantum object in there? That's so annoying! How do I get in there? Oh my god, this is so annoying, dude. I just, I just want to... This is falling. This is falling. Wait, this is actually perfect! Wait, this is perfect! Is that it right there? Yep. Ow. Okay, wait, this is actually... Oh, you guys don't know how perfect this is. You guys do not know how perfect this is. Oh, let's go. Yep. Roll. Fuck yes! Okay. Fuck yes. Okay, is there any... No... Um, go up then. I think up here. Just scroll right there. Grab that scroll. You level critical? Awesome. Well, let's just go up then. Okay, so. Oh, shit, come on. Come on, please. Just fucking read some shit. Welcome to Lando. You're over here means you completed your preparations. Uh, your preparations on Giant Deep and are ready to depart for the Quantum Moon. On your pilgrimage, Quantum Moon will carry you, just as it carried me and many our clan before me, to the Moon's sixth and most secret location. You'll be aided in your pilgrimage by the shrine our clan built on the Quantum Moon, but 
Remember this final rule. To explore the six locations, the shrine must be on the moon's north. Oh, be cautious on your journey. Okay. 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 I know exactly what to do then. Okay, let's read this shit. Uh, if you're here to make your first word, you are almost prepared to set on this deeply significant journey before you do pause and remember your history. Uh, we make this journey not only for ourselves, but also to honor the members of our clan who came before us. Those who, uh, who, those who, after the crash that brought them to the star system, became stranded on Brittle Hollow and on Ember Twin, with no communication between those two groups of survivors. Wait, what? Those after the crash that brought the, them. Okay, we make this journey not only for ourselves, but also to honor the members of our clan who came before us. Those who, after the crash that brought them to the star system, became stranded on Brittle Hollow and em and on Ember Twin. Oh, with no communication between the two groups of survivors. These nomai looked upward from two different planets and saw the same wandering moon visiting their skies. It was this moon, the quantum moon, that kept the curiosity alive during this long period of hardship. After the two divided groups were able to reunite, it became our clan's united goal to find and visit the quantum moon. This took time, and many nomai who dreamed of seeing the quantum moon died before we discovered how to make the journey. When you reach the quantum, recall these nomai and carry the curiosity onward with you. Okay, I want to read this one more, one last time. Completed. Um, what does that to be? To explore the, six, the the shrine must be on the moon's north pole. Then I understand. I understand what to do then. <gasps> that was the quantum moon. <laughs> All right, first step: find the quantum moon. There it is. Go. Take a picture. No! Fuck! Fuck! I pressed the wrong button. I pressed the wrong button. Okay, so it has to be on the north pole. Okay. There we go. Okay. And press E. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Oh. Dark Bramble. Okay. What is this? Oh, that's the... Oh, wait. Wait, what is this? Wait, what is this? Oh, this is his thingy. Okay. Okay, where... Okay, I need to go... Where's the North Pole? Is the North Pole... I think the North Pole is blue? Oh, is that my ship? I think that is my ship. This is... The North Pole, right? Oh, yeah. Right there, right? Okay. Is it North? Okay, I... I okay. Maybe North is... Red? Oh, my God. That does not look good at all. This is... No, that's not north either. I think it's because my ship is... Hold on. Should actually move this real quick. Is this north? This is north. Yep. I think this is it. This might be it, I believe. that shit is it no okay um close it again okay let's Oh, it doesn't really... Okay, so... Wait, hold on. I just... Okay, I'm not cheating. I just need to search up whether <laughs> red or blue is north. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Blue is the south pole and red is the north pole. Red is the north pole. Okay, that's all I need to know. That's all I need to know. That's not cheating. That's not cheating. Red is the north pole. 
Okay, so let's get out of here. Is my ship still here, by the way? No, I don't think it is. Okay. Red is the North Pole. Ooh, I like Giants Deep. Oh, wait, maybe not, actually. Okay. Okay. Whoa, that was really strange. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's get back in here because the tornado is north. Ash Twin, Ember Twin. Okay. Okay. Let's go north. No, going above that, it's gonna. Oh. I can't go here either. So maybe so not Giants Deep, not Ash Twin or not Ember Twin. So maybe Timber Hearth. Maybe Brittle Hollow. See, if I go up there, it'll, it'll exit the quantum moon. And I, I can't do that. Is this Solanum again? It is. Okay. Timber Hearth then. Let's, let's say Timber Hearth. Timber Hearth. This should be promising. Do I really have to find somewhere north? It's actually annoying. Can okay, I gotta go this way? How do I get it to north? If I go any higher, I'll leave. Okay, well, let's risk it. <laughs> My fuel. Is there fuel in here? There's no fuel in here. How do I get to? Oh, oh man. I'm getting a little bit angry, a little bit angry. Using oxygen as my fuel. Nice. Oh, that no my. What the fuck? Is there a path that I'm missing that just keeps disappearing and reappearing? Wait, I'm not using oxygen because there's trees here, so I think I'm just chilling. See, like, there's no way to go north. Are they fucking with me? Are they fucking with me? Is red actually north? Yes. There's definitely a puzzle aspect of this. I'm just not figuring it out. What if I jump on this guy and then... Up here, maybe? All right, we're restarting that.
Wait, wait, wait. Wait, I think I'm here. I, th I did it. 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 I, I did it. I did it. I think 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 I did it. I'm on the north side. I did it! What's happening? What is happening? Okay, so I, I, I turned off my recording because I was using too much space, but I equipped my signal scope and then this started happening. This sound started happening, basically, which is why you just saw me cut to using this. But now I'm at the north side and I don't know where the fuck I am. And now I'm walking to the southern side, the south, the south pole. Oh, what the fuck is that? Uh -huh. Okay, dude. Yeah. Are you? I am Solanum, a Nomai. My clan arrived in the star system before my birth, and we now call it home. Oh my god. So this is how they fucking talk? I am on my first pilgrimage to the quantum moon. All Nomai and my clan make this journey when we come of, come of age. Even though the eye cannot be reached from here, the quantum moon remains special to us as it carries us nearer to the eye than any other place we know. I have journeyed here to be close to the eye, while the eye is obscured from our sight. We can see the quantum moon's reflection of the eye in the sky above us. Okay. Okay, I don't need you anymore. What about me? I imagine your purpose here is the same as mine, to learn about and to find the eye of the universe. I'm unsure how you arrived here, however. Perhaps you came from another star system, as my clan originally did? Now, identify me now. I've never met one of your kind before. It's an honor to speak with you. I particularly admire your four eyes. Future editing Zai here. I just realized, how the fuck does he know I have four eyes? I have a helmet on. A space helmet on. That covers my four eyes. What the fuck? There are many questions I would ask. If I could comprehend your language, you have my gratitude for understanding mine. What the... Okay. 
Maybe put that instead. Explain the fucking quantum moon, please. Or identify the quantum moon. That's so sick. This is the quantum moon where we both are standing. Despite also orbiting other celestial bodies, the quantum moon is the eye of the universe's moon. So, can you explain it, please? Have you encountered a quantum shard on another planet? Yes. The shards look the same as the quantum moon's surface does now, while at the eye. From this, we can reasonably infer the quantum moon's natural state is as we see it now, and that the eye is its primary location. Given the quantum moon is the eye's moon, it's likely that any characteristic the moon exhibits are also exhibited by the eye itself. The quantum moon and its shards, for instance, are quantum, thus the eye is likely also quantum. In fact, this moon is probably quantum because its proximity to the eye made it quantum. The same way the areas surrounding quantum shards that land on other planets eventually beca became quantum too. Oh, okay. So then... I want you to identify the eye of the universe, please. We are orbiting the eye of the universe now, although we cannot see it, only the quantum moon's reflection of it. The eye is older than the universe itself, and my clan believes it dwells in an extremely distant orbit around this solar star system. That's what I've that's what I've been seeing, I think. There is there is fundamental uncertainty throughout the universe. Normally, this uncertainty is only observable on a very small scale. As one approaches the eye, however, that unsort Okay, there is fundamental certainty throughout the universe. Normally, this uncertainty is only observable on a very small scale as one approaches the eye. However, that uncertainty grows enormously. The quantum moon probably exhibits macroscopic quantum behavior because of its proximity to the eye. Shards that broke off from the quantum moon have a similar effect as I imagine you've seen elsewhere in the system. Hmm. Conscious observation forces a quantum object to collapse to a singular, single possibility. But what would happen if a conscious observer somehow entered the eye itself? Over time, this has become my clan's greatest question. Okay, so then I did everything. What if I just walk past you, maybe? Okay, so he's just chilling here. Then I'm assuming I'm leaving, right? Let's see what happens. A little part of me thinks this is Solanum. So I think I can leave then, right? Wow. <laughs> that was insane. That was awesome. <laughs>